garbage everywhere, abandoned factory right here, and people are living in these buildings. Um, yeah, this is really, really poor. I mean, I didn't expect to see something like this. So, good morning guys. Hope you guys are having a good day today. I'm actually going to Usti na Lieben. It's a town in the northern part of Czech Republic, almost bordering with Germany. And if you're wondering why it's so dark right now, it's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. I actually have to catch a train because it's one hour away. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm going to go to the train station. See you guys there. So guys, we have already arrived at the train station. We have arrived half an hour early. So what am I going to do? Let's grab some coffee. Let's do it. So guys, got my coffee. Now we got about like 10 minutes to kill. So the reason why I want to go to Usti because I heard that it's one of the poorest city in Czech Republic. I guess the income gap compared to Prague is gonna be quite a lot. Yeah, I want to see if there is a difference between Prague and a small, smaller city in the in the Czech Republic. Kind of catching this drift. You guys like this song? Oh shit! I'm gonna be late. Got like five minutes. Time to go. Let me see. Hmm. Got it. Lebem is the seventh most populous city in the country. It is a mountainous region, so nice views. Historically speaking, it was an important industrial and trading town for the Bohemian Kingdom. Now it's just mostly a blue collar city, mainly chemical, metal, and machine production. In the 90s, the city gained international attention and notoriety when a wall was built segregating the Roma Gypsy residents from the ethnic Czech residents, and it was dismantled six weeks after the construction. So I have to say, the train ride was actually surprisingly very comfortable. It was only a one hour away from Prague and uh, there was barely anyone on the train. Oh yeah, and you thought that I was coming to Ustina Lieben alone? No, no, no. I don't know this city, so uh, I'm Bye. meeting a friend actually. And here's my friend Clara. Hi! <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> nice to see you! <laughs> we totally think that it's the yeah. second time. <laughs> Okay, so, I should say something. Yes, Clara, introduce yourself. Okay, I am uh, from, actually, I was born in Hrudim. Oh, <laughs> you're not from Usti? <laughs> I thought uh, you from Usti. No, 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 I grew up here and uh, after college I left uh -huh. because this city has two sides. Uh -huh. One is beautiful, one yes. is not. <laughs> I I'm excited for the afternoon. That's where we're going to go see the bad side. So. <laughs> Three, jump! Pretty sick bridge. This is the riverbank of Ustin Nad Libin. Love him, and it's beautiful in the summer. I mean, it looks nice, like the uh, that castle. This Zamek, one? Zamek. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, sell it, Clara. Sell it to <laughs> me. <laughs> no. I mean, the first impression of the city is not so bad. So that's a chemical factory and that's a valley. So what it happens sometimes is that when the weather gets bad, all the chemical in there gets trapped. So it's bad for the residents, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think that's bad. I don't know. <laughs> so there is a gondola up there. It's kind of strange. Don't you guys think that there is a gondola in a small town? Maybe it's a little bit of corruption because I read it. There's some kind of problem like that, so... Falling rock, Jesus Christ, fire. Falling rocks? Woo! Directly behind me is the factory. You can see it all along the back. The geography of the city actually doesn't look so bad. The bad thing is that there is the chemical plant. So guys, let's take a bath. That was funny, right? But... What the? Okay, oh, Clara, so I, I see a 
Where are we? I'm taking you the most beautiful coffee shop I, I know here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Clara, for bringing me to the uh, Babishka Cafe. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Babishka means grandma in, uh, in Czech, in case you guys don't know. And now, where are we going to go? We are going to neighborhoods which are not really, let's say, pleasant to visit. Mm -hmm. And where are houses which are meant to be taken down uh, by the city. We will see how it goes. Czech, German, and I think it's uh, gypsy language. And what does it say? Vstup zakazan, it's like do not entry. And nebezpečí urazu is uh, danger. What happened with this apartment complex is that historically it was in a bad area. There was a lot of crime happening. A lot of people, they came and they robbed the people who was living in this household. So I just believe that the people have abandoned in living here because it's a high crime area. So it turns out people actually still live here. We're gonna go in. Fuck. This is the view right outside. Listen, people are living here. The machine for the gas, and they, well, it's gone because they don't pay. Guys, I have to say, I'm kind of. Not shocked, but like it's pretty extreme. It's probably the most extreme condition I have witnessed in, for sure, in Czech Republic, and probably in Europe as well. Yeah. You don't have a window. Literally on this street, it smells so bad. People are living here without windows. Clara said that they probably have like fire in the house, like just fire to keep the household warm. We're literally just treading through mud and uh, puddle and there's broken car garbage everywhere, abandoned factory right here and people are living in these buildings. I have to say, like, I kind of feel bad for the people living here. Like, it's really unfortunate that people are uh, living in these conditions in Czech Republic. Like, crazy. So guys, we're switching the scenery a little bit. Where are we going to go, Clara? It's uh, Vanyovské Vodopady. Uh, in English, it's waterfalls. <laughs> In finishing our trip, we thought it was a good idea to hike up to the city's waterfall to enjoy something scenic before heading home. This short trip had really broadened my view in the various means of people's life in this country. I think it is safe to say that Ustin na Lebem can be like any other city in the Czech Republic, with people living in different ends of the economic spectrum. I would definitely say that there is still a lot more of what's left unseen for me to be explored and I will definitely come back a second time. So guys, we have reached to the end of the video. We finished our tour at Usi Na Libem. It was an awesome time. I had a great time seeing the, the good and the bad of the city. And I just want to say... Hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Clara for uh, showing me around for the city today. And now we're going to go back to Prague. If you guys like the video, subscribe, comment, share. So uh, yeah, see you. We're going to go back to Prague. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>